Hello everyone, and welcome to the exciting world of Sprites Alive on the Amstrad CPC. Now, what is Sprites Alive? It's a system for developing games on the Amstrad. It was released around 1990, and it's obviously based on sprites, and it gives you um, a basic version, which includes extensions to basic so that you can work with sprites in regular basic programs, or there is a compiler which you can compile your programs, they need to be slightly modified from the basic syntax, but it's still fairly simple, and then they'll run a lot faster. So today we're just going to look at um, <clears throat> the basic version here to show some of the things that you can do. So I'm just going to press B for basic. If you press C you would go into the compiler version. Okay, and we are back at the basic prompt. Looks pretty normal. <clears throat> so the first thing we need to do is we'll pull in the drawings, which are the various images that we've made for our sprites. So you can see here we've got gamesprite.drw, and that is all of the images for my CPC Wars game here. So to load those in, use draw and then file name. And you don't need to put DRW. Okay, these are now loaded into memory. All of these were defined in mode 0 to 16 color mode, so we'll switch to that. Now the first thing we can do is we can use the color command, and that's going to load the palette which was used for these sprites. So what can we do next? Well, we could load. So what I've done is I've loaded image number zero, which is the, the ship, <coughs> into sprite number two. Um, I'm using number two instead of zero or one, just because zero and one are reserved for the player character and they, they tie into keyboard and uh, joystick controls. We're just going to do some simple animation with this. Okay, so we've got our sprite. We need to put on the screen, so we go S put for sprite 2 and let's put it say 50 50 and there it is okay so we've got a sprite on the screen what else can we do well we can say let's put 2 takes it away puts it back where it was let's clear the screen and put it back okay what else can we do well we could give the sprite a direction Okay. Oh. Sorry about that. There we go. So if we go move to, that moves it one step in the direction that we've given it, which is one pixel across, one pixel up. So what could we do with that? Well, we could write a little program. And there we go, and this guy is just going to bounce around, and you can see it will bounce off the edges of the screen, and it will also bounce off the text. So collision detection in Sprites Live is based entirely on colors, so any colors that you have in the background, or any other sprites, are going to bounce there. We can put in other kinds of collision detection, so for example if your ship hits something it'll blow up, or if you shoot something then that will blow up, that kind of stuff. But you can see that this is all just happening with a really simple basic program. It's really nice and smooth there. And so that's the sort of stuff you can do with Sprites Alive. So in part two we'll take a look at the Sprite Designer and we'll see how we can make some sprites and then later on we'll look at making an actual game. 